Hey, how's it going? Uh, if you're building a home here, or really building in any touristy area in the world, then at some point you'll have to put together a plan for keeping your home secure, gates, deadbolts, your ADT alarm, whatever. I'm gonna go over some of the things that we did to make us and our guests feel safe at the Casa here. First, in my opinion, Ziwa is an extremely safe city. Ali and I could be in the minority, I don't think we are, but we personally feel a lot safer here than we do in the United States. There's no areas of town that we feel are off limits, nor are there certain hours where you're advised to not be out on the street. But like everywhere in the world, most criminal acts are of the opportunistic type. The most common form of theft deterrent here is a tall fence and iron bars on the windows. In the United States, there are 6 million residential customers of ADT and overall about 27% of households in the States use security monitoring. But I think in Mexico, if you want someone to monitor your property, you're gonna have to hire an on-site security guard. We don't have security we don't have security guard money, so we think we found a good alternative that uh, works and is cost effective for us. And if you are sleeping on your patio like we did for a week while our wood floors were redone, then having a secure property makes sleeping a little easier. I'll write all of this information in the notes below as well for anyone interested in the products, companies, and pricing. Our property is keyless, so we don't have to worry about who has keys to the property or a guest losing the keys or an ex-worker having access after the job is done. I think it's crazy for any new home to use traditional keys nowadays. There are lots of different door locks that would work fine. We ultimately chose the Ultra Lock brand and uh, they've worked pretty well for us. We can set the hours that the housekeeper has access to the property, set temporary codes for the plumber or for the guest. And we can also see the logs of who has accessed the units at any given point. The locks that we bought cost around $140 each US. For the front gate, we recently, we recently installed a keypad as well. There's a release button inside the property to open the gate and a keypad located at the gate for entry. For the gate keypad installation, we used a local company called The Home Security. They charged us 6,300 pesos for the install, which included parts and labor, plus there was an additional 1,700 pesos we had to pay for the prep electrical work. So the total for the system was about 400 US dollars. I recommend the home security if you're here in Ziwa. I think they have an office in Lazaro Cardenas as well for these types of projects. We also used them um, for our electric fence. They charged us about 12,000 pesos or 600 US dollars total to install 20 meters of fencing. Again, one of the workers that we had did some of the prep work putting in the post during the construction, but otherwise the home security was great and easy to work with. Inside the house, we have the control panel for the fence. We can turn it on and off uh, if we're doing some work and we don't and we don't want to be close to the electrical lines when they're run when the current is running. If someone did touch that fence, it'd give them a 10,000 plus volt shock and also trigger our alarm. I also added two floodlights in front of the house that light up the street in the evening when someone walks past. They were only 60 US dollars each and they work as well as like a football stadium lighting. Um, in the backyard, we have a spotlight that covers the entire backyard pool all the way down to El Arion restaurant, and it was only about $30. The last security item we have is the Eufy brand security camera setup. It runs between $500 and $700, but 
but it works great, has high def uh, images and gives us some peace that we can see who's on the property at any given moment, even when we're not here. So all in all, four keyless door locks, the gate keypad, the security electric fence, three floodlights, and the camera system cost us about $2,800. All right, thanks for watching.